Hey, Coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment down below. Check out up above um, or subscribe over there. If you're looking for greater depth, make sure you check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. A 14-day free trial. It is a group of coaches, every resource you'd ever want. If you're looking to see how to run the read and react, how to run a 3-2 zone, it's there for you. One-on-one -on -one calls with me, office hours, you name it, it's there. Uh, go check it out. 14-day free trial. Enjoy the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Coach Unplugged, episode 367. Happy Memorial Day. Um, there's going to be a little special treat for you at the end, so make sure you stay Stay with us till the end. Um, before we get into uh, leading difficult teammates and those kind of things, um, I want to talk about a couple big things. First thing is make sure you go over and check out Dr. Dish. Um, mention Coach Unplugged, and I'll give you $300 off your purchase. Go buy seven of them. It'd be great. Uh, next thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. There's, there's two ways that you can help us keep the lights on. You know, there is a cost, not only a time cost, to doing five um, – episodes a week of uh, Coach Unplugged and an episode of High School Hoops. And then we have a couple more maybe in the network in, uh, in the queue um, that are going to come out uh, late summer, we're hoping. Um, but anyway, the way we can do that is join ttroops.com for coaches who want to get better. Um, it's a 14-day you know, free trial. I'm doing a special if you, ha if you don't follow me on social media or anything like that. Um, today, it ends today. Um, so if it's too late after that, you maybe send me an email. Um, but uh, I am doing a, if you join a year membership with teachweeps.com, I'll let you have one of your assistants get in on it too. So it's two for the price of one. Just today, ends today on Memorial Day. But um, yeah, it's a good deal. Try to get your assistant coach involved. I, I would think that'd be a great thing to do. Um, also, um, you know, like I said, we have lots of costs with, you know, hosting and all things like that. If you want to help us out and you shop on Amazon, www.teachhoops.com backslash Amazon. Bookmark that. Every time you go and purchase something, we'll get, we get a little bit of a credit um, and a commission, and that, uh, that helps us keep this train of moving. All right. Um, so today we're going to talk about leading difficult teammates. Um, and I think everybody that's probably listening to this has had to deal with this issue. Um, not only in the workplace, but on teams, um, you know, we've all had those people. Um, and, you know, I'm always preaching to our guys that leaders not only lead themselves, but lead others. Um, so an average leader can get others to believe in themselves. Okay. Um, you think about all the great leaders over time. Um, you know, a special leader can, can, can help others believe in themselves, can basically put it to the next level. Um, they can be an example of what it is to show up early. They can be an example of what it is to, to, to work harder. Um, and part of it, and I think I've gotten, it, I've gotten better at this, it's really about knowing your personnel. It's about, so if you're a teammate, it's about knowing what makes Johnny tick, what makes Sue's t Sue tick, you know, as a coach, what makes each of those players, um, you know, give their, give that everything that they've got to kind of move it to the next level. And I think, you know, as an educator, a teacher, a coach, you have to be able to do that. And as a teammate, somebody that um, you want to lead, you have to be able to do that. You have to know their why, you know, what is their why? Why are they playing? Are they playing because their parents want them to play? Are they playing because they love the game? Are they playing it because they want to be around their friends? So you have to ask the why. Um, and once you can figure out most people's why, you can you can move forward. Um, you know, you have to be like Magic Johnson, and you know, and this is going to age me a while. He had the ability to ever make every teammate feel like he was invested in their success. Um, you know, great leaders in business, great leaders in in everything. You know, all the cogs have to be moving. You know, Elon Musk is great about this with SpaceX and stuff. He's making everybody in that program feel like they're an important part of us getting to Mars, of us, you know, the next rocket. Um, so you you have to, and this is a teacher, you have to make every student that's sitting out there, every, if you're a coach, every one of your players feel like there's some, they're, that they're, that special interest they have, you have that interest in, or their best interest in mind at all times. Um, so there's three things I think is 
for, for teammates that you must do, you must acknowledge success. You must acknowledge them showing up in time. You must acknowledge that great pass. You must acknowledge, you know, that pointing thing, all of that stuff you must acknowledge. Um, you have to celebrate the, the, the small success along with the big success. So when, when you're, when you're doing it, you know, refer to it as ape, you know, a is for acknowledge. You have to celebrate their successes, you know, um, pointing high fives. Yeah. Nice job. Hey, I loved how you got on the floor there. So leaders do that. They acknowledge the little things, you know, the little note in the mailbox at, at work, you know, all those things, little note in, in, in the, uh, in the locker saying, Hey, you're doing a great job. Keep it up proud of you. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is praise, remind them of their strengths, not shallow praises, but praises of, you know, Hey, remember you're the guy, you're, you're, you're the best offensive rebounder in this league. You, you just keep going. You're doing great. Yeah. I know you got hose. Oh, you got in foul trouble. You know, just keep praising, reminding them of their strengths over and over. So that's the second part of ape. And the third part is encourage. Um, we all have tough days. <laughs> I know in my class or even in coaching, you should, you know, send them a text today. Say, hey, everything's going to be okay. Keep working. You know, um, I, I usually do five to one or six to one. You should have six genuine compliments, not just shallow ones. Um, they, there has to be something behind them to every negative. So it's been hard for me, <laughs> um, but I think I've gotten it almost to five to one. And they have to be genuine ones. You can't go, oh, nice job, good running. That's not a genuine. It has to be a genuine comment, uh, compliment. Um, and, you know, you have to, you have to explain to your, your, your parents, you know, the, or your parents, your, your players, or your teammates, that it does matter. Um, you know, this you know, coach does have favorites. Coach wants you to excel. Coach wants you to do better, but he's going to see the guy that's getting on the floor. And being a leader is a full-time job. You know, Bill Gates does not take a day off. He's still leading Microsoft. I think he is at least, um, you know, he, he is leading every day, you know, um, and, and, and you hear in the locker room, you hear the complaining, you know, politics only come into play, you know, coaches only, you, you can, and you can talk to your teammates about this only if it's gray, you know, no one's questioning whether LeBron should play. Um, you know, if you become the best shooter you can, you become stronger, you become someone that can play as D, you do the right things, coach is going to play you. Um, and that's what you have to convey to your teammates. That's what leaders do. You know, they, they get them taking it to the next level. So um, going back to the three things, you know, as a teammate, you should be worried about, you know, believing in them, showing them success, finding their why, and then ape your teammates. Acknowledge them, praise them, and encourage them. If you do that, you're going to be in really good shape. Um, so make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better today. If you sign up for a year long, I will take care of it. I'll send you an email, ask you who the assistant coach is. We'll get the assistant coach all set up. Um, also make sure you go over, subscribe and like. Um, and if you're doing any Amazon shopping, maybe you need some grill stuff for today. Um, go over and check out www.teachhoops.com backslash Amazon. Make it your bookmark. Help us out. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, coach, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're looking for a mentor, me, if you're looking to become a better coach, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better, 14-day free trial, all the resources you would ever want.